And we welcome you back here on, uh, I'm Andrew Hernandez, and today we continued the early outlook for the football season, and we talk about the team that's also really good, and our second team from the Big Northern Conference, and that is the Stillman Valley Cardinals. Stillman went 6-5 and five last season. And actually make, making it all the way to the second round of the playoffs. As well in Class 3A before losing to Dupac in the second round. As well. So we talked about the Cardinals. Another really good powerhouse school in the Big Northern Conference. As well. So if you guys don't know about them and Byron. Are probably one of the top probably rivalries. When you talk about in the Big Northern Conference overall in the big northern because you know they have, they have some really good rivalries like you have dixon oregon um probably oregon and byron as well and then you have stoneman valley and stoneman valley and byron the and then the rockford lutheran and christian you know a cross town rival rivalry there as well so oops i'll be back well, right after I just got a call from my brother because I was going to do the Cardinals of Stoneman Valley. So for, for the football early outlook as well. So my last two videos, if you've seen of the early outlook as well, I did both Byron and Rochelle. Then that was kick off of Stoneman Valley, right? And rushing, they had Keaton uh, Ruman for rushing last year for Stoneman Valley. He just so so he'll be graduating as well for the Cardinals. Uh, Michael Orlando, another one as well. I believe he'll be graduating this year from Stoneman. And Brain Engel, they'll probably have to replace the quarterback. So. So for so as you guys know, Stillman Valley is a really good football program under Mike Lamber, who was the head coach of the Cardinals, and he's led the, the Cardinals to state championships in '99, same year I believe as Byron, and they won theirs on 2013. Was their last recent state championship they've been to. For Stillman, so so uh, it was Keaton Mc McDevitt been receiving yards along with Ruman with I think it's pronounced it right, but also the second in receiving for Stillman Valley receiving yards, and then Braden Rogers a fullback. As well, so so Ruman and Orlando, Michael Orlando, he'll probably be returning because he played as a junior last year, so he'll be probably returning as a senior. And then Brock Needs as well, will probably be returning as a senior as well, probably the Summer Valley, maybe. So TDs, Ingle, the quarterback, who also played the QB for Stillman Valley led. The Cardinals in total TDs, tackles per game. Rubin also led them, so they're they're bottom three. That were the top. They were in the top three. Jackson Barrett and Henry Hildreth will come back. Probably the seniors for Stillman Valley. If any of them, I don't know because I don't know what the rosters. Because technically, right now. I kind of said it in the last video, you know, when I did Rochelle and Byron as well for the football early outlooks. <sighs> so, this doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, you know. It's what will my project for the season yet, but we won't know. We don't know what the rosters are going to look like until August or who's 
who's putting a lot of work over the summer and all that as well. So in August, it will mean something in August to determine determine who's practiced a lot and who's ready. So, you know, by the time, I believe Labor Day weekend, I believe it's when opening week is for high school football week one. So it will determine on the field once we get to week one and kick off all that all the way because that's all the way until August technically. So what I'm saying is this does not mean nothing. Because once I do the previews by the time, you know, August comes around and all that because I know because technically what I'm doing because if you're new to the channel I am technically doing the Rockford based region like counties like Ogle County I'm doing east of Whiteside almost east of the Whiteside area technically when I when I do talk about sports because because I'm a basketball coach as well which I'm getting into because because I will talk about sports as well, but technically if you're like east of Whiteside, like technically be near Rock Falls, Sterling, all that, and now Morrison, Fulton, and all that as well. Those towns as well in Whiteside County. Um, we'll probably do um, Lee County as well, Ogle County, technically, and Winnebago County as well because these early things don't mean anything when we talk about in august it's probably going to show what the season looks like and what the projections are going to be but it has to be played on the field in order to see what happens the train needed it's going to happen on the field and what the scoreboard is going to determine at the end of the game when i talk about it so so, it sacks last year for Stillman. Heldreth, a junior, he he led second in sacks. Then leading first for Stillman last year was Johnny DeClerc, who was also a senior. And then Brock Needs, Braden Engel, and Braden Rogers both led in interceptions for the Cardinals. And then Engel, Orlando, Rogers led in rushing and fumble recoveries and completion percentage and QB rating goes to both Braden Engel. So, so just the names that I mentioned, like Engel, he'll be graduating from Stillman. So, Stillman Valley. So they're probably gonna kick off with Dixon week one at AC Routers Field. So Dixon, another really good team in the big Northern because if you guys didn't know that almost half of Dixon's teams this season have competed in the top for the Big Northern Conference. In football, they were runner-ups. In football, they were runner-ups. In Week 8, they went 8-1 and one as runner-ups in the conference before losing to Byron in Week 8. Um, Cross-country for Dixon that I mentioned a lot that I've seen from this year in the Big Northern. Uh, Dixon did dominate in cross country and both boys and girls cross country winning that conference meet as well. Cause I remember watching that back in October in Oregon, up in Oregon. And then in wrestling, I believe they have dominated the conference for, for almost, I don't know how many years. It's been a while since they've dominated in wrestling in the big Northern as well. And then probably baseball as well. They're going to be top contenders. Um, boys basketball, you know, I think in boys basketball, I don't know if they shared some conference goal with Byron and Rockford Christian. Because normally they will do as a two-way tie. There's a tie in the conference records. Because I know a couple of years ago, I know last football season, not the one that happened in, happened to fall but with the back, back last year in 2022 Stoma Valley did share a conference championship with Byron so 
So these two teams would probably face in week nine, probably in Byron as well. So that's probably going to be a big one. Uh, the Dixon one is probably going to be big. Big one at AC Riders Field. Probably this upcoming season. Um, North Boone. North Boone probably would be shocked some people as well. So, the conference I really do are the Big Northern. And I do the Northwest Upset Illini and, and Rochelle Sycamore and Caneland out of the Kishwaukee Interstate for high school football and other sports as well. And then the Northwest Upset Illini Conference that I do would talk about. Well, so, so probably some. Is another hot train on the BNSF so probably Northern are going to be the top ones as well, and then Genoa Kingston's probably going to be a top one next season up in Genoa. So they went five and four this season, but I bet you that you know, you know, five and four can get you into the playoffs because I know there are sub teams. Who made it in the playoffs made it I believe five four and five because because for Stone Valley as well they're probably projected to make the playoffs again next season but we don't know because because we don't know yet because so so probably needs is probably gonna be a big one big player and Michael Orlando for Sto for Stolen Valley on both on the offense and defensive side. So those are probably going to be the two playmakers. But the quarterback, I don't know who they're going to put at quarterback for Stolman to replace um, Ingle as well. So Stolman, I bet you that, you know, they're probably going to get back to the playoffs as well and probably get back to being a conference uh, contender in the Big Northern. So that's my projection. Projection. Either fight to get into the playoffs or try to shock everyone and become a playoff contender as well. So if you like the video, please like the video. If you subscribe, please subscribe as well. Make it grow. I'm out of here. Peace.